So why do we use the drones for emissions monitoring? Because the drones allow us to get in the air and capture emissions that would otherwise be difficult or even impossible to measure. We don't just want to know where the leaks are, we want to know how much is coming from a facility. That way we can track reductions or increases over time and see whether we're making climate progress. So there are three main challenges for putting gas sensors on drones. First, they have to be light enough not to hurt your flight endurance. Secondly, they must be sturdy enough not to be compromised by the movements or the electronics of the drone. And thirdly, you need detection ranges that allow you to detect even low concentrations in the atmosphere. The LGD Compact for CH4 monitoring accomplishes all that, which is why it's ideal for us. With the LGD Compact, there are particularly two things that are very impressive. One is the sub-PPM detection level, and the other one is the no need for recalibration in the field. That means we have higher accuracy and less maintenance. So we've got several key features to a drone like this one. First and foremost, of course, we've got the LGD Compact here, which allows us to detect even sap PPM levels of methane in the air. But in addition to that, we've also got these wind sensors on the arms here that allow us to detect the wind signals as well. And the arms, we can move them as we fly in order to get as clean a signal um, always. And through the combination of both the gas and the wind signals, we're able to calculate the total emission rates from a plant like this one. So right now we're focusing on methane, but we've also got our eye on other gases like ammonia or CO2. If we want to combat climate change, we need to get better at monitoring emissions. For that, we need good sensors like the LDD Compact from Exetris, but we also need innovative methods to monitor these emissions, like what we do at Explicit. <laughs>